Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm Subrata Sakhar, a mechanical engineer working in manufacturing industry since the last 20 years. Today I'll discuss a very controversial topic, or a very sensitive topic, rather you can say, the concept of God. Let me clarify actually, I'm not going to give my view on God actually, whether God is there or not. I'll share the, what the you know, wise people have said, many scientists have said, many other great people have said about the God, what, the, what is their concept, I'll share that. I'm not going to you know, discuss on any religion topic or you know this only that or maybe in Christian, maybe in Hindus. So we'll, simply how does God concept of God came and whether real is there or not. So I'll discuss on some of the great person what they said about the existence of the God. Stephen Hawking, a you know, great scientist, he said that before we understood science, it was natural. To believe in believe that the God has created this universe. So we many of people still believe today this universe is created by the God actually. But now the science offers a more convincing and scientific explanation how this universe is created. And you know, you know sometimes uh, the question comes actually whether God having God in mind is a strength or weakness of our brain. You know, now if we ask someone, have you seen God physically? No. But people have, I know, different answer. We have not seen many things, so we cannot, you know, the, deny the existence of those things also. So actually, you know, the main thing is, uh, what history says actually, like when we are during this at the very beginning actually, like we are uh, for doing agriculture and a lot of things, so rain is not coming, there is sun is not. Uh, so, so, so we are uh, praying for sun, we are praying for rain, so some, and we created a lot of, you know, the God for sun, God for rain, and God for other things, actually natural resources in terms. And day by day, we have given a shape of those gods, and by now, those, you uh, know, these uh, uh, shapes and uh, things or visuals are, uh, you know, by decades, by years, by thousands of years, that are, you know, uh, going to the uh, people actually people are believing that it's coming uh, you know this uh, you know this uh, by people are actually you know there's a tradition actually people are uh, transferring this uh, information or concept to their uh, family so day by day this is coming if you say that actually like when somebody is in a bad, good situation he or she does uh, you know remember for God's very few cases but if someone is in a bad situation, in dangerous situation, on most of the cases they, you know, prayer for the God, they are, look, you know, looking for the God. So they want. To, uh, so this actually says that the development of God has come from the weakness, or when we have a lot of, you know, pain or you know, bad situations. Actually, even this English uh, musician John Lennon has said that God is the concept by which we measure our pain. This person who has got a lot of pain, actually, he or she get uh, no, a lot of you know, belief in uh, God like that so, so as I said earlier this, uh, the concept of God when it, it was uh, symbolized with the natural uh, uh, resources or good resources and then by tradition it has you know uh, come, uh, day by day it's uh, going with our uh, society or uh, culture actually even Pope Francis uh, say he said that it is not necessary to believe in God to be a good person in a way tradition notion of the god is outdated one can be spiritual as the writer said that one can be spiritual but not religious it's not necessary a spiritual person is a religious person and he also said uh, pope francis said that some of the best people in the history didn't believe in god and some you know those who believe in god they did a lot of wrong things so believe in god and you know doing good things or bad things has no relation actually even uh, daniel dennett said that you no know, i'll uh, try uh, uh, to tell one uh, area of a uh, book uh, one film actually this uh, pk this american film where the one one person that uh, you know this uh, so called this baba was telling that people whether god existence of god is there or not that doesn't matter but if some people believe in God and they feel a better life actually with their trust, what is the harm in it? 
why you are trying to dig whether God is there or not. But he said here in this you know, that there are many other alternative better ways to people make happy, not giving a you know, false concept whether which is not proven, which is not exist, you cannot interact physically. Even uh, the great uh, uh, no, the person, this uh, Swami Vivekananda said, you can't believe in God until you believe in yourself. Indirectly, what he said that there is no God actually. People are God actually. God is you know, inside of us. So in most of the cases, so it is said that the great people, the scientists, the philosopher, they are, uh, they understood that, they, they know actually rather, there is no God actually, it is a concept which people are bearing for decades actually. And when we are in a bad situation, we pray for the God, for some supreme energy, when, because when things are beyond our capacity or thinking, then we pray for the God section. But it doesn't mean that things which we don't know, that, that, that science may have some other explanation for this. And some people also, you know, this misinterpret the, you know, this, uh, com uh, com uh, uh, this uh, remarks of the, uh, you know, this, uh, uh, of the great people actually. So, uh, what, what I mean to say is say some great person, great scientist has said, I believe in God. So people say that being a so big scientist, he's believing in God. How you are not believing in God? Who are you? And for example, actually it is a misinterpretation of what is a, Albert Einstein has said, more I study science more I started believing in God. Actually, it has got a two different uh, know, aspects actually. People uh, misinterpret wrongly, actually misinterpret it. Because people say that as Albert Einstein being a big scientist is believing in God, so God, there must be God actually. But at the same time, you can see here what uh, Einstein has said that, I cannot accept any concept of God based on the fear of life or the fear of death or the blind faith. So he also doesn't believe in God actually, existence of God or the Supreme God because as a scientist he has got different explanation how the universe is created actually. Now, uh, it is a, a basically a statistics like we, we discuss to people actually like when, when somebody asks people why you are doing so, many cases people say yes God has told me to do this. Or I'm doing as I God said in the you know when I was in dream or or so so, so people still and and the statistics uh, saying that when some people got more aged actually so people are start believing more in God and when somebody is more young say if you are asking a uh, uh, like a 20 years boy the how what is view about the God existence of the God and the person who is 60 years old they will surely say a different uh, view actually. So it depends on the surroundings, it depends on your life, it depends on, you know, uh, uh, like your uh, you know, concept actually about the God. So it's said that your concept of God determines your attitude towards life. So I'm sure I have not, you know, uh, time to communicate anything on religious or anything on, you know, this is on, a, on a trying to hurt somebody's trust or belief. I've just assured the, you know, the views of the great scientists or some great people what they say about the concept of God. So if you find this presentation, you must share with your friends, you must subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for your attention.